Welcome to the channel. I'm Paleo Ken. Got a small piece of uh, Edwards Plateau nodule that I picked up. And uh, just gonna biface it out. First thing we're gonna do is remove this hump here to make it get rid of this whole thing here. All right, so <clears throat> let's get started. Okay, how does that look? Looks okay? All right. Sounded like it went. There we go. Might be a little bit too much of a hammer stone for this. Switch to another one. And we did pretty good. All right. This stone is pretty much solid throughout. Um, some of this Edwards will be some of this Edwards will be more concretey in the middle, less less quality in the middle. I think this stuff is going to be a little better quality. This side is for, well, I thought they were kind of, both kind of smooth, but they're not. They got problems on either side, doesn't matter. I'm just going to start working to one side. I may have to switch to a harder hammer stone. Something bit me. Flies are biting. <clears throat> I'm going to have to put on some pants. I'm back. Now that fly drew blood. Actually drew blood on me. Um, so let's get back to where we were. Let's see if we can... Holy mackerel, flies came right back out here. There we go. That was a good strike right there. Looks like we've got some good stone. Sometimes the limestone I'm using can be a little bit soft for what I really need. Other times,
Okay. No, I don't know. That might not be a very good platform right there. Let's see. I want to remove this ridge here. Yeah, I think that's going to be too much of a, too steep of a angle. better. All right. You can see my finger is on it right there. There's that's the platform. Looking for. I hit where I'm supposed to. Yeah, it would have helped greatly if I could have hit it where I wanted to. You can see what I did. All I did was damage, damage it. You see that happens to you know halfway decent flint nappers too. So if you're a beginner napper. Um, take heart. Happens to the best of us. So now I'm going to have to attack it from this angle here. And the flies are, it seems like the flies are getting at me on my elbow now. And it, yeah, anything that's not, anything that's exposed is fair game to the flies around here today. I ain't about to come out here in a long sleeved shirt at 100 degree heat. perfect world I want it to come out here. I'm going to have to press down on this quite hard if I'm going to get it to do that. And I have to hit it really hard. Top. Not as much as I wanted it to, but it did go over the top. So, all is not lost.
may have to sacrifice a little length to get that. Yeah, these flies are biting the backs of my arms, it seems. Not a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to continue or not. flies are having a feast on me and they're biting hard too they're drawing blood and at least they did on my legs both legs actually platform here. I want to remove this flake here, put a blender in there. Now, the stone, you can see it's kind of hard. It, it's really quite brittle. Um, you may be asking, why am I battering this? Well, I got this rock from a quarry site on a private ranch, and I noticed that the Native Americans, this is how they prepared their platforms. I didn't start having success with flake, successful flake removals until I studied their debitage with this particular type of stone. Then I was able to remove flakes by battering. It wasn't until I started battering and grinding, because this is quite brittle. You have to have good, sturdy platforms, especially when working with hammerstone, um, which we found a lot of evidence of them using hammerstones. So. see what I mean here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll take a picture of that later if it doesn't show up. Um, okay. So... Thank 
flies. Holy mackerel. Trying to... Don't try this at home, folks. Flint napping with biting flies is not any fun. You tend to get complacent and want to just hit your platforms. Like that. Wow, they're nailing me bad. That's what I want to do. I want to get, I want to get, this is too, too much of an angle right there. I'm trying to get a better angle, which I just did. with the shape, with the overall shape of it. Um, right now, I'm, I just want to keep most of my blood. Ah, I don't like feeding flies. So we're going to get this done, get this bifaced a little bit, or get it more under control, and then we're going to call it quits. That removed a lot of that hump right there, which is what I wanted. When you pound on it, I'm thinking that when you pound on this, it sends little tiny fractures in. going this way and this way, which is essentially like relieving your platform. So it seems like no matter where you hit it, it's going to release. In a perfect world. It only does that when I point things out. Flies are getting antsy. I didn't know flies could do that. Actually, I did know flies could do that. I spent much of my life in, uh, in Alaska and northern Michigan. There we go. That went across the top. Across real nice. The flake broke, but I don't care. You see how it went underneath that hinge? Boom, just like that. That's. Take that, you fly. So 
that was a victory. Right now I'm fighting against flies and I'm fighting against the stone and I got a major victory on both of them. So Sometimes you get, you don't even have to uh, hit it very hard. See how I did that? Instead of changing my uh, the angle of how I strike, I changed the angle of the target of the, of the work piece. That way, that way, whenever possible, I'm, I have a greater chance of keeping the same amount of force. I, it's easier for me to regulate the amount of force required if I'm hitting in the same direction all the time. All right, this, uh, there we go. No, not the best, but if we nibble away at it and take small flakes, that may open up another possibility, but we're getting to a point now where this is as far as I want to go, given, given the current situation with our fly population. paying attention instead of being distracted by the flies. had to deal with the same the same things I, keep, I don't know if it's uh, I got that fly is biting me there oh yeah I, I can feel him landing on me or if it's just a uh, psychological thing now you know like you see spiders and all of a sudden now you feel spiders on your skin I'm not going to take this any further as much as I would like to. But I'm not going to be out here in this long sleeve shirt, 100 degree heat. make a good Cory Blank project for later. Thank you for watching. Um, like 
figure this out, I can show you what that, get a photo of this and show you what that platform actually looks like. Come on. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we'll try to bring you some more plant napping videos. I like to make my videos quickly. Um, make them for me as much as I make them for you. So, but thank you very much for joining me in this little quick fly bitten, ser uh, fly bitten episode. Thank you very much.